it is not efficient. And that is the big drawback in terms of using the traditional approach, particularly for children who have complex phonologic difficulties. Because for clients with multiple errors, it can take years to work through all of the errors. Those children that have almost every sound in error, when you look at that, that's why in my head it's always, oh my gosh, this is my worst nightmare. Because if I do these sounds one at a time or even two at a time, by the time I get the child to a level of intelligibility where it's no longer affecting them socially, emotionally, or academically, we're probably years down the road. So the other kind of analysis we can do is called an independent analysis. And an independent analysis does not look at, is this child producing a sound uh, correctly in, in relation to adult form? In fact, the question we ask here is, what sounds and syllables does this child have available with which to communicate? Which is a completely different question. An independent analysis then evaluates the child's system independent of the adult target system. So we actually aren't looking at, is the child able to produce a sound or a word like the adult produces it? We actually are not interested in what the target is. We look then in an independent analysis at all of the subsystems of the phonological system. And what happens in a relational analysis, we are often blinded to some of the subsystems. Again, we only look at can the child produce this sound in relation to the adult form? And it blinds us then to the other pieces that are more helpful for clinical decision making. So what an independent analysis does is it, it determines the sounds, it determines the, the syllable shapes, uh, the speech patterns that the child is able to produce, rather than looking at what it is that they can't do rather than looking at, you know, these are the errors that they're making. We look at, so what does the child have available for communicating? And that really is a completely different way to look at an analysis of phonology. And here's a really cool thing about using an independent analysis. You've got children who are completely unintelligible. You can do an independent analysis. On a relational analysis, all you're going to come up with is a whole bunch of marks saying an error, 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 error. And this, we can actually do this analysis on a child who is completely unintelligible.